Hello, my name is Joshua Bigham with Ferro Technologies, and today we'll be talking about the new VR Generator app. To get started, we're going to click the plus and navigate to our data set. Now the data set will load in, and we'll have a preview image once we click the box. Next we'll go to export and choose a company logo. I happen to have one here on my desktop, and I'll click open. Now in the bottom right, I can select VR which will export my project. This is a trial version, so it will export with a trial logo. Now I'll navigate to my desktop and go ahead and click save and let it begin exporting. Once finished, it will give me a notification letting me know it's done. Now I'll navigate to where I saved it, go ahead and run the exe file, and continue through the prompts. If you have not installed the VR viewer, it will ask you to do so at this time. The first time that you use the viewer, I highly recommend that you go through the tutorial. This will allow you to understand the controls that we use in order to navigate the point cloud. I happen to be using an Xbox controller. It will ask me to move around here, and I am choosing the direction by which way I move my head. I also have my triggers to move myself up and down in the Z direction. Next, we'll go to a scan tutorial to let us look at a project. We'll go ahead and load the tutorial project and select continue. To begin, we come into the project view. We can choose to rotate our project view by use, using the right joystick. Also, we can use our up and down triggers as before. Lastly, we can select a scan position as it says here, once the point cloud is loaded, we can select any button in order to display it. Once the point cloud is loaded, we'll be able to click any button in order to view it. Now, I'm looking around in virtual reality at the point cloud data. Now, let's take a look at our data set from earlier. Once loaded, we'll select Continue in order to view it. Here, we'll navigate around using the tools we've talked about before. Now, I'll select a scan position to jump in. Once the point cloud is loaded, I'll go ahead and select to view it. I can also jump from scan position to scan position, just like so. Again, once loaded, I'll go ahead and view the scan by selecting any button. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Hopefully this has helped you with how to use our new VR viewer and VR generator.